Good evening, friends. Welcome back to Dave's Hobby Barn Basement. Um, I wanted to do a beginning of the T1 Models A10 build series. And I figured the best place to start, of course, was with our Warbird Pilots. Thank you, Adam Martin, and his amazing accessories. A little plug there for my good friend. Uh, of course, I added a few little custom pieces to him you know you can't have a warbird pilot without patches so without further ado i will move on the first part of my build has been the uh engine nacelles the pods and being that there is literally no information on the edf version of this plane uh, i am working on it on my own uh, and the very first things you're going to come to notice, and I'm, I'm going to flip over here to the un, the uncut, unfettered version. When this came, the model actually came with the really cool turbine thing in the front that was on bearings and spins and whatnot. Um, and it came with a thrust tube for the EDF right here. Uh, but this plane was set up for turbine. Um, I, they're very similar. You can see the rails set up for turbine. I want to point out very closely, see these angles? These are your thrust angles. So uh, I'm going to get into that in just a second. The EDF version, obviously, they make no uh, concessions for that whatsoever. So the very first thing I had to do, as you can see, this had to come out. I had to make some cuts here. I had to shorten this by 20 millimeters. This was already cut out in the back, which was nice. I didn't have to do anything with that. Um, and obviously, I measured and made sure that I maintained the thrust lines. Uh, so over here, obviously, the work has been done. You can see the thrust lines. You can see that I've cut out the sections. The reason I can do this is obviously you have to be able to mount the EDF in the front and it has to be straight. Well, the reason you can do that is the thrust tubes, when they come, if you can see that, has got a built in thrust angle into it. So, as long as you attach this to your EDF and follow the thrust angle accordingly as it's set up in the nacelle, you won't have any problem. Now, I'm using a Schubler uh, DS82. Uh, 120 millimeter fan in this project and obviously these are 140 millimeter inlets so to give you a little flavor for how that sits that leaves quite a bit of space in that inlet so I had to buy inlet rings to go on the front and of course obviously this fan is not going to mount up there so I have created a pair of mounts that are going to get epoxied in here shortly or high sold in. Uh, as of right now, uh, I have mocked this up. The inlet ring sits up against the uh, fiberglass in the front. The fan sits into that and sits on the rails because I've had my clamps out and mocked them. And I have had my thrust tube attached to that. All the pieces come together. So, just so everybody can see that it will come together. It just takes a little bit of patience. And then once all of this has been screwed in, I've tested it, made sure that it's all going to work. Then I'll run the wiring. And clearly, there's a lot of space for wiring, which in this instance, it's going to go down right through here. Uh, right through the leading uh, part of the nacelle. So it'll come out right there. So, and this is obviously the left one. So that's where I started my work. So that's the very first video, folks. I'm going to keep this short. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. Uh, this is Dave. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.